All right, welcome back. You know what I did? I put the chicken breast back in and I let it cook down. Would you look at this right here? I let it just cook down till all that liquid was gone. The flour off the chicken breast, it got my, my, my sauce nice a little bit, not too thick. This is not meant to be a saucy sauce, overpowering saucy dish like that. So, but it's looking good though, right? So anyways, now let's do the pasta. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of olive oil. Just a little bit, not too much, because I don't want the butter. That's getting nice and hot there. But we're gonna do this quick. Put your garlic in there. Go ahead and give that a nice stir. Now, let's put those peppers in there. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh yeah, it's smelling good already. Nice and hot. Nice and hot. No one have it too hot. You don't want to have it too hot. Because then, like I said, you'll be burning stuff up. So next, let's go ahead and put in a little bit of that butter. About a tablespoon of that. Oh yeah. Now look at that. You got your peppers in there. Garlic got nice and flavorful and toasty. So, let's go with the spinach. Mmm. You gotta have your spinach, like Popeye, right? If you eat your spinach, you will be doing just fine. Now, but you don't want to overcook it. It only takes a little bit, right? It only takes a, about a minute or two. Let that spinach just break down right there. Now, let's go ahead and add our pasta. I hooked this up. I already hooked this up a little bit earlier. So I'm gonna throw that in there. Now, I'm gonna add a little bit of my half and half. Just a little bit. Don't go too crazy with it. You know you're trying to watch the calories, right? A little bit. And put a little bit of pepper up in there. A little bit of black pepper, right? Don't forget your kosher salt. Not too much. Not too much. And you put just a little bit of that chicken stock. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Just to wet it up a little bit. Now. You can put your Parmesan cheese in at this point right here. Wow, look at that. Nice enough of Parmesan cheese there. Then, you are ready to eat. So let's eat. Let's eat. I'm excited about this. Doesn't that look great? Let's get a little bit of spinach on there. You know your date's gonna want some spinach on her plate, right? She's gonna be like, why he get more spinach than me? She's gonna be thinking that. She'll never let you live it down. The first date y'all had, you had more spinach on your pasta. Oh, that's smelling so good too. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Throw a couple of chives in there. And voila, dinner served. Chicken marsala with the garlic Parmesan pasta, the diced red peppers in there. It, it just doesn't get any better than that, man. It doesn't, yeah. And you did it with the Thug and Chef. When you do it with me, you're always gonna win. Let's try a little bit of this. Oh, that's nice and tender. Get a mushroom on there. Oh man, I left the universe for a minute. That's really good. Mm. 
Oh man. I gotta hurry up so I can get back to this plate. Anyways, you did it. Once again on the Thug and Chef. I always remember, you know what I'm saying? Love, art, life, the Thug and Chef. Wanna be a hip hop star? MC selling out the phone so they can get that car. I'ma blaze this from middle cause the hit comes first. Why you take it back, relax, and I'ma spit that verse. It goes like, wanna be a hip hop star? MC selling out the phone so they can get that car. I'ma blaze this from middle.